So hi guys, um, today our topic is the future and what we want the future to hold which um, I think for me comes under two categories there's like the immediate future and then there's, there's the more sort of long term stuff so I guess short term um, I would like to get really good at packing really fast I am living out of boxes and trying to get things into boxes right now and I just, I don't know how to do it. Every time I move house and every time I do something I always think like, how how did I, how did I do this before? And it turns out that I just never, I never know. So, um, I have a week left and then I move into my boss's house and then I have a couple months grace where I can house hunt from there. Um, but I would like somewhere to live and I would like it to be somewhere nice. And I would like it preferably to be somewhere around this bit of London, which, although it is ridiculously expensive, is, is still a place that I love best. Um, and somewhere that will let me have miles. And somewhere that we can call home and properly make home. I think that's, I think that's where I'm going right now. I need to make London my home for as long as I'm going to be here. Um, I would like to write some poetry. I've had a little bit of writer's block just recently. My head has just been a little bit too busy and too crowded, so I'd really be into being able to write, because that's usually like my number one coping mechanism. Uh, I'd like to have a nice birthday. I suppose the future is something that's been really obsessing me a lot recently, because I'm a month off my birthday, and then I'm going to be too old to die young. So suddenly the future is like here. Like I'm, I think I might be a grown-up. I hate to break it to you kind of horrible news to myself as well but I think I might be grown up so I guess that pulls me into like my long term I'd like to get my PhD I'd like to get my PhD in the next couple of years I had a conversation with a friend and I was like I might consider maybe having a relationship in the next couple of years or being more open to it than I have been um, I'm not very good at relationships um, and I, they make me really anxious. So I've kind of been avoiding them after my last horrendous breakup. So I'd quite like to maybe give it a shot again. Maybe. I'd like to pass. I'd like to pass as a guy. You know, full time. Not just on the days when people see me a certain way. You know, I want to go on tea. I want to have top surgery. I want to have bottom surgery. I'd like to just have a day where my body isn't just this weird minefield I have to navigate. I would really, really love to have a beard. I want to take my shirt off when it's hot in summer. And more importantly, I want to do some good. I've always kind of felt like this life wouldn't be anything if I was only looking out for myself or like helping myself and helping other people and and trying to make a difference is something that's always really mattered to me. Um, so I would like to do that. And I would love to do that through my art or through through my, my job or through academics or something like that to get people talking about things in a way that they haven't talked about or just facing head on a lot of things. The work I'm doing with the charities kind of kicked that in me as well. Like I, It turns out I really like working for somewhere that does really, really good things. So I want to make a difference. I'd like to leave the world in a slightly better way than it was when I got here. And it's not about having being known for it, it's not about like fame or infamy or any of that kind of thing it's just, I would just like to give back a little bit more than I got, because I've been really lucky I'm super blessed with all of the stuff that I get to do um, so I would like to not just take that for a ride and, and get what I can out of it, I would like to do something something sort of good with it I think I'd like to be a lecturer I still have that, I would like to teach people and I think that education is like one of the best ways to kind of get any points across and I think I think I'd be good at it I'd like to live in New York I still that's still my dream and I don't know how I'm gonna make it happen but I'm pretty pretty sure I'm gonna make it happen I kind of feel like I have to it's kinda of how I feel about poetry I think most of my dreams are like these weird kind of nebulous awkward things that just have to happen because they just have to I don't have a lot of other choice with it so yeah they're my they're my dreams my big little dreams, my little big dreams. Um, as ever, come say hi, come talk to me.
I'll see you next week, guys.